Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Skyrim. Uh, I was going to do an intro, but then I saw like a creepy thing crawling over there. What on earth is that? Oh, it's a troll. Don't kill the deer. Don't be so mean. Dude, this guy's aim. Where is it? Yes. Hey, you healed yourself. You had way more. Oh, you actually normally heal. Oh. Dangerous. Yeah, so in the last episode we did the Golder Legends first quest. And we are now looking for Dead Men's Redoubt. I think it's called. Doesn't look like it's over here. I guess it's further south. Or it's there. Wait, is this the largest landmass? That might be it. And then it's over here. Yeah, if it's not that one, it's gonna be that one over there. Is the Dark Brotherhood house? Looks like it. Ooh, Corundamore. Oh no. No, 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 no! Did I drop it? Oh, it's in the chest in the in the DM. No, are you kidding? It might be the ruin. Yeah, this is, I think, the Dark Brotherhood's shack. Julio. Prize a key? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is the Dark Brotherhood's shack. Well, in that case, I think we accidentally found our place. I'm pretty sure that's Deadman's respite. Redoubt or whatever it is called. This should be what I'm looking for. Some kind of runic thing. Really not sure what I'm looking for here. Let's at least see if we're in the right area. Pretty sure we are. This is this should be the large landmass. Oh, no, no, just walk straight past it. And it Oh, we got dudes. Ustengrav? What the hell's Ustengrav? I'm gonna so kill my minion with my own spell, by the way. So this is also not what we're looking for. Huh. And brigands are the low to the low. They prey on their own countrymen for profit. Well, 
Maurus's journal. I stumbled upon a strange runic shrine on the largest mass of light in the marshy south of solitude. When I touched the stone, it began to glow, and a beam of light shone like a beacon southeast. But if this is not the uh, thing, it must be here. I'm not sure what Ustengrav is. I've heard of it. Yes, we should do it. But that's not the runic stones we're looking for. Yeah, let's dive in. Dungeon dive after dungeon dive. Not really much else to do. We need to collect stuff, right? Dead bandit. Oh, an Orc Alchemingot. And some Skooma. Very nice. I'll, I'll take that out of the world. Less Skooma. Oh dear. Dead bandits. Well, there's a little war going on. No, I was here. The guy's getting sus. Did you just drop? What happened there? Yeah, I think he did. Huh. Hey, Mr. Dead Guy. You're just a dead guy from a dead family. Scarabush, Scarabush. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Hey, Galileo. Oh, pickaxe. Hello. It's not my pickaxe. And there's an orcish sword that I literally just bought two of. Oh, is this it? No, we didn't get the uh, complete dungeon sound. At least I don't think we did. No, there's more. There's a door. That way. Three gold, wow. Not too shabby. the code of Malakath. Where's the door? There? Yeah, there is something behind there. Huh. <clears throat> Can I actually not do anything here? Or this might be like a main quest dungeon. That block blockade will open up, maybe. Hmm. Don't get too far ahead. I'll keep up. That's easy to do. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything here. Ustengraf. Oh wait, oh, is that the place where the this the giant axe from uh, Isurgrimor or whatever is? Is that here? Maybe that's here. Let's hit Morthal. Or that cave, that whatever that is. I think it's also time we do a Dwemer ruin, like the one in the south, the Ang Angazar or whatever it is. 
Engvund. Anger boy. I don't know. Oh, there's more fall. What's this place? Kienstag ruins. That uh, ghost? I've met a ghost before. Oh, that can't be good. We need to follow it. Oh, usually this symbol does not mean dungeon, it's just like a monument or something. I don't trust that ghost. But it does look like he's gone. Alright, keep your secrets. That house. That's not the Sten the Vigilance of Stendar house, is it? No, that's like above White Run. Looks cozy, what is it? Shouldn't be a town here. Stone Hills. Well, that must be new. Gester Rockbreaker. Oh, it's actually like a little town. Oh, this is cozy as hell. Tiba I, hey, you're from Solitude, aren't you? Yeah, hey, you're from the inn. I'm just here to work the mine. Nothing else matters anymore. Just trying to make a living. No interest in trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, did you need something? Yeah, I need money. Nothing here. There's even a guard. Yalmarsh, that's Orthol? Right? Oh, there's a data shine upcoming. Wonder which one that is. We've got all the miners we need, so I hope you're not here looking for work. Sorley and I are just here to make sure the mine is run proper. Do you own the mine? No, and before you ask, it's not for sale. I wasn't asking. I'm just protecting Brylink's investment. She's the owner, even though we're the ones here doing all the work. She's already come down hard on us for missing shipments. <sighs> Likely to do it again, since we're late. Is there any way I can help? You could take word to her that there'll be a shipment soon. Buy us some time and keep her off our backs. In exchange, I'm willing to let a few ingots go missing. Maybe more than a few. All right, sure. You're doing me quite a favor. I won't forget it. I'm sure she'll be angry. Brace yourself. I can handle it. Uh, you're out in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? you? Don't have to tell me twice. But then I'm not the one that buried iron under these mountains. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, your little town set up here it looks so cozy. If this weren't middle of nowhere, I would maybe want to live here and if there were monsters everywhere and dragons and bandits and but I don't even want to know oh you're you're actually in the in the palace okay stone hills warmth is a welcome change in this cold bleak land wait you're actually talking about this place is this legit is this vanilla Yeah. Huh. That's something. Wakey-wakey. 
Oh, woman. Yes. Nothing to say. Okay, bye. Sorry to bother you. Dragon Shrine and a Daedric Shrine. I'm not into that just yet. Still feel like I'm just starting my adventure, so like Daedric stuff and dragons. Eh. We'll do the dragons when we do them, the main quest. Is this Murwatch? Yeah. I always forget what that is. That's like, I feel it's always on my map. Like a dungeon or like a wizard tower? Oh no, you know what? This looks so modded. Oh, chores. Hey, museum shipments. Oh, it's a house? Could it be? This is so modded. Kill it. Sorry, Hans. Sit in our tower's notes. Oh, is this like Wizard Tower? Deep in the swamps of Yelmarch, there where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of unknown provenance. You in the province dare speak the name Mirwatch, and those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further, and so I've made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of its past comes from its presence. The present, from the cut off the stone to the ward that surrounds it, every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to the pen in my end hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus. Ooh. A symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirrorwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. That is true. Could it be the mages here were cast out from the College and set out to carve their own path? Tis but a theory. And yet, one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind of its occupants, true insight will remain frustratingly out of grasp. Hmm. Alright. Ansys Journal. It's worth a hundred. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that uh, that fool Sindnar, Sindnar say it over and over. Breathe stinking of breath stinking of ale, as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell. But so long as no one's hair is caught on fire or found imps in their cupboards, the words were harmless. Just the mad ramblings of a drunk. Of the inn patrons, only I bother to humor, him, to humor him. We bonded over a bottle of honey brew in the bucket which we, with which we had history. Oh, does that mean they vomited? So when the elf bit the dust, it was only natural he left his things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long dead language. But as soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value. A map and notes to a tower deep in the swamp. It was only after reading it that I realized his drunken words weren't part of any limerick. They were instructions. A way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense. But the eye is the stone seal. That much I'm sure. Yet nothing I do seems to work. 
I've doused it in fire from my torch. I've chopped kindling for hours and built a bonfire high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still, nothing. Maybe the seal can only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the bastard's tome. I just need to make sense of the words. But I better be quick. The fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. Hopefully I can manage to survive long enough to discover whatever treasure lies within. Ooh, okay, I did. I did just that. Obviously, we need a spark thing. Is the door actually closed? There we go. That's a rabbit. Oh! The tower door was unlocked. That looks scary. Alright, I guess Wizard Tower, Skyrim Edition. Oh! This place is cozy as hell. Look at it! And I completed it. Dude! A Norris Journal? And there's a uh, fire book. First of Morning Star, Third Era, 423. Is that like the Bolivian Crisis year? I don't know. A wise mage once told me the power of a spell lies in one's conviction. It's evident to me now that the college has lost all desire and purpose and has become feckless under its current stewardship. The Archmage Shalidor believed the halls to be a proving ground where a mage could test the limit limits of their abilities. Now the college is a tomb of knowledge, where grand spells and lofty ideals are left to wither and rot. We should not let the outside world dictate how we conduct ourselves. Placating their ignorance is not a virtue. The augurs speak of a great war on the horizon, and we should be doing everything in our power to prepare for it. That is why Tilja and I have chosen to leave. We know the road ahead will be hard, but one thing we do not lack is the conviction to see through. 23rd of Rain's Hand, 3rd Era, 428, that is 5 years later. Construction of the tower is almost complete. Tilja accused me of being impatient, a crime which I have been guilty of more often than not. Between us, he has always been the tortoise and I the hare. Still, our needs are pressing. The coming war will not wait for the mortar to dry. The location has much to do with the delays, but that can't be helped. The Nords are distrustful of magic by nature, and some would frown upon our efforts. Others might take a more violent approach. For that reason, we've put a ward on the door that it requires magic to dispel. We've chosen to honor Shalador in much of what we do, including the seal outside the door. Tilja seems pleased with the idea of setting it on fire, while others seemed uncomfortable with the idea. I warned them that pride is the enemy of progress. If we are to survive in the coming storm, we must not bound, be bound by tradition. We must be willing to set it aflame. Eleven, the first seed, third era, 429, like a year later. It's been a year since construction finished, yet there is still so much that needs to be done. The tower is only the foundation for our defense. Our minds and our magic must serve as its ramparts, and for them to hold, we must amplify our strength. As such, <clears throat> I have sent scouts throughout Tamriel to find powerful artifacts that may help us in our efforts. Artifacts the college wizards refuse to obtain out of cowardice or comfort. Many of these relics played a role in preventing calamities of the past. Perhaps it is their destiny as much as ours to stand between the world and its ruin. 17th of Frostfall, 3rd Era, 429. We've had little luck finding our... Uh, we've had... Bleh, 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 bleh. Too much talking today, sorry about that. We've had little luck finding artifacts of note. Based on the information I've culled from the Arcanaeum records, I know there are several here in Skyrim, including the staff of Galder. We must endeavor to find them all. More concerning, however, is the, 
the disposition and morale of the mages. Even Tilja seems to have fallen into the trappings of routine and idleness. It is hard to convince weary souls to explore yet another ruin when the task has been stripped of all urgency. 29 of Sun's Height, 433. It's now halfway through the year 433, more than 10 years since we left the college. Yet all remains blissfully calm. One of the new acolytes even suggested abandoning her training to become a cook, happily showing me her spell for preserving apple pies. I reminded her that she is here to study battle uh, magic, not, pa not pastries. She will have more than enough time to indulge her sweet tooth when her youth is behind her. It is why we devoted half the library to the placement of powerful artifacts to serve as a reminder of our pursuit. Yet seeing the racks as they are now collecting only dust makes me wonder if I've led us all astray. As leader of this guild, I have the training to fight and knowledge of what's to come. What I don't have, sadly, is the conviction that it will. Oh yeah, no, 433 is like the Oblivion year, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. 28th of last seed. Oh yeah, see, a courier came by with the news from Cyrodiil. Emperor Septim is dead. The gates of Oblivion have opened. The vines help us all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dragon language, myth no more. Cool, and Dancing Fire, Volume 5. 5? Volume Vav. I'm on number Vav. Don't know why I said that so wrong. The third era timeline. Ooh. Knights of the Nine are reformed. Cool, and that is Ancestors in the Dunmer. So, question is like every book available in here. I don't want to loot the entire place, but. Oh, yeah, look at that. Feels like cheating to get all the books from, uh, from in here. Argonian account. I'm guessing Murwatch is in the anniversary edition. That's the creator content. Is that right? I think so. So, where's everybody? Why is this place abandoned? Poison song. Yeah, I'm not gonna loot this place. I wanna keep it intact if I ever go back here. Dense of Fire Volume 1, Dense of Fire Volume 4. Ooh, Stall Rim. I will take that though. Someone's got to White Run. Fire Poison song. that open yeah, for some reason it feels like cheating to get these, uh, these things I don't know I don't know why building up the sky gallery Mm hmm. Oh. There's some stuff to uh, put here. Archon sword. Oh, is it like the museum? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's like the museum. It's 
Oh, it's the Thief Guild symbol thingy. Staff Enchanter. It's cool. Oh, unenchanted staffs. Thieves. Heartstone. That. I'll probably need that for enchanting. Mage Tower to fully equip Forge. Seems unlikely. Huh. Well, I gotta say, we got this place a little too easily. Well, I guess it's just a player home now, but whatever. Um. Disease potion recipe, mud crap shit in, and vampire dust. Yeah, I think we'll leave it here. Um, we still have to find that one place, which has to be like west of Morthal. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to Morthal. Oh, wait. Items packed into museum shipment crates will be transported to the Dragon Ball Gallery within a span of five hours. So, does this go to like the safe chest, or where does this? Go? Let's uh, let's put some random things in. Heavy stuff. Let's see where it shows up. Alright, um, yeah, more fall next episode. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series as well. Uh, as much as I am. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Skyrim content in the future. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody. See ya!